for more recipes, conversations and DIYs for kids, hit the bell icon to never miss a video from kidstoppress.com. Hello and welcome to KSP TV and this episode is going to be about on how to prep for a meal plan. As soon as work got really hectic and my second one was born and you know I was getting frantic calls at 5 in the evening on what to cook, I still kind of get really lost and I didn't know what to do. I would end up going to the grocery store a couple of times to buy things or sometimes when I decided to cook something, something was not there. Uh, and, and life was really kind of chaotic, like people would sit at dinner and it's like again the same menu every week. Uh, and that's what got me to think that listen, there has to be a better way to do this. And I assumed that all of you guys would also have the same issues. And I was like, we have to come up with a meal plan idea because it cannot be like that. It cannot be so chaotic all the time. So we started with KSP meal plans and we're 50 meal plans strong, which I'm really, really proud of. And a lot of you guys have asked us on doing this video uh, that is meal plan really cumbersome and tedious and time consuming? Well, the first thing is I'm going to share with you guys that a couple of myths about meal plans and how you can go about planning and what are the advantages of meal plans. Right, so the first one, is it time consuming or not? No, in fact, it's going to save you a lot of time. Uh, how do you go about prepping for meal plans? Well, it's fairly simple. Let's get started. Tip number one is get all your recipes in one place. Now, I'm a digital person and I like all my recipes on my phone. So I have this app called Evernote. Uh, so you must download that too. And what I do is I just take photographs of all the recipes or if I have the recipes on WhatsApp or over email or whatever, I just try to collate it all in one place or sometimes I feel like we're just screenshotting recipes wherever we get them, right? Either on Instagram or Facebook or WhatsApp or whatever. So just take all of that and just kind of keep adding it in, in a note together and it becomes really, really simple. If you like YouTube videos that you want to bookmark, then just make a separate playlist of the videos that you really like on YouTube. You could also do that on Pinterest and you could organize it by snacks, breakfast recipes, dinners, lunches, you know, uh, brunches, whatever else that you want to organize it, but get all your recipes in one place. If you think like, okay, I'm going to like, um, you know, have lots of physical recipes and that's never going to happen because they will just be stocked in one place and you'll never find them when you actually want them. Tip number two, invest in a really good meal plan. You could either get a physical one like the one I have or download a printable which works according to your uh, family's meal plans, right? So the ones that you eat at home, the ones that need to be packed for, or if your kids are eating at school, then, you know, skip those and just put in the other ones. So we've got breakfast, we've got snack box, we've got bus snack, lunch, evening snack and dinner, and then just break it down by that. But this one is really, really important. And what you should also have along with this on your refrigerator is have a sticky note which has the wish list, right? So that helps you plan for next week's meal plan. Uh, so what you essentially do is that everybody who's craving for something really yummy is just just has to go and put their wish list, you know, put their dish on the wish list and that goes into next week. Of course, if somebody's craving for something really yummy right now and if you're back home early, then you can totally give in. But more or less, you know, as you go along, you will start sticking to the meal plan. Tip number three, go grocery shopping with your kids and make sure that, you know, you have another sticky note on your list. Uh, on your refrigerator which is a list of all the essential items that you're running out of and you need to restock so whenever or whichever day you're actually going grocery shopping you have a complete list now you either snap it and go to the grocery store or you pull up that list and go to the grocery store but you will have a list of everything that you need to prep for that meal plan so that's what we do we send you the meal plan on a saturday so you can go grocery shopping on a Saturday with your kids and ensure that you've got everything for the week. Tip number four, you know, if you have picky eaters, is pick you have, pick and choose your battles for a meal plan, right? So example, in our house, we have kids from five until 50 eating, right? Ages five to 50. Now again, it's very important to, and, and we're all trying to follow a low carb diet or a high carb diet or a low protein diet, whatever that your family is really following. But what a meal plan will really help you do is plan and pick and choose your battles according to the days that you're going to have time and you're not going to have time. So if days that you could come really back from work, you want to put in something that's easier to feed the kids or easier for you to prep. Uh, so example, it could be pasta in a green leafy green sauce 
or it could be rajma chawal or whatever else it is that you're making again for making taco you know the kids can eat the taco the ra- same rajma can be used for somebody to eat rajma chawal and you can eat of course taco with all the greens without the taco shell right so same meal plan same meal has actually worked for three different age groups very very beautifully tip number 5 Keep your Saturdays and Sundays for grocery shopping and meal prepping. Now, when I mean by meal prepping, is you know things that you can make in advance. So, example, your pasta sauces, pizza sauces, uh, sprouting your you know your mooms, mats, choles, rajma, whatever else that you need to soak or making hummus for that matter. Pizza sauce, pasta sauce. It just becomes a lot easier if you plan in advance or making the granola or making your muffins. So it makes it very, very easy, and of course, you will be far more patient. So you will ensure that your kids are also part of the process. Tip number six: eat seasonal and eat local. And you will realize that when you are actually using a meal plan, you will end up eating what is in season, and you will teach your kids also to. you know eat in season so example in the monsoons you know we don't eat a lot of leafy greens and you'll go higher on your proteins and in the winters you'll eat a lot of leafy greens you'll lot of eat a lot of fruit vegetables and all of that really helps because your children will also get a diverse palate and of course in different parts of the country you have different foods that are uh, available in different months of the year so again that really helps tip number 7 how to prep a meal plan for a picky eater now depending on how you want to kind of address the situation whether you want to sneak in the vegetables or you want to give it up front it completely depends on you uh, there would be i would say pick and choose your battles if there are days when you just come back late from work or late from class and you know there's no time pack in something for dinner which is going to be much easier to feed because you are running out of patience the child is already sleepy and cranky so i would not want to give a tindi ka sabzi at that point in time for child doesn't like tindi or if i want to give them something yummy how do i sneak in so example you know you want to give them a pasta but you want to sneak in cauliflower uh, you know cauliflower into the white sauce mac and cheese or the white sauce pasta and you can totally do that uh so pick and choose your battles depending on the days and the amount of time you have to feed them put the tindi ka sabzi for the day that you actually have time to feed them and you can read two books or you know do some activity with them while you're feeding them so they they also enjoy the process so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this meal plan if you have any tips that really work for your family then please share them in the comments below and any apps that you use for your meal plans and we'd be very very happy to share with the rest of our readers and incorporate that in our meal plans if you're sharing any recipes then please do tag us on instagram and on facebook with the hashtag ksp meal plans and of course tag us with @kidstalkpress and we'd love to incorporate your recipes from your region or wherever you are into the ksp meal plans because i'm sure if you're a mom or a dad it's extremely well thought through so see you guys next week